The Warriors will face off against the Storm in Auckland Saturday evening for a sold-out beanie for brain cancer round and round number 15. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by former Blue Josh Mansell to unpack this one. Josh, the Warriors, it was a great win against the Cowboys last the week. Was. I know you love the Waz, but uh, Tamari Martin uh, and also you've got Harris Savita. They've been so formidable in Sean Johnson, that's absence. He comes back in, pushes Chanel to the bench, but I still feel like there's so much opportunity on, on how Andrew Webster's is going to rotate these guys. And the crazy thing, um, either of those two players have reached peak of their game. Yes. So, you know, we all know Sean Johnson's off contract in the season. Uh, there are rumours that he might extend uh, with the Warriors. So, but, you know, even puts Shawnee on notice and keeps him on his toes. So you've got these two guys just waiting to win just to kind of make that opportunity and play consistent footy. So it's, uh, it's a great luxury to have as an NRL coach. Um, obviously, as the, the games go on, um, yeah, it's going to might be a selection headache for Andrew Webster, but again, I think it's a, uh, it puts the, the Warriors in a very good position. Okay, so you see a bit of an interchange happening at strike power during this game? I, I think so. I think it's a, a great luxury to have Chanel on the bench um, with Tamari. I feel I feel like the more games he's got under his belt, the more confidence he's, he's gained from that. Um, yeah, I've played with Tamari out in Penrith uh, in his debut season, and you know he's the most he's not the most vocal um, footy player as a half, and but again, he just leads by his actions. He's very direct at the line, and uh, again, he's a, a player that's just going to keep on getting better. All right, and then also add to that, Adam Fanua Blake has been putting to bed all the questions that have been asked about his commitment to the game and been extremely powerful. Well, two props: Adam Fanua Blake and Jackson Ford. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackson Ford uh, is funny enough loves playing in the middle, uh, which is very <laughs> bizarre. Was fun. Very That's bizarre. Exactly very, very bizarre. Uh, but you know what? It's uh, it's actually a very, very good makeshift um, with uh, obviously um, having Mitchell, Mitch Barnett going to the back row. I can see where Angel Webster is going with Mitch playing that back row. He wants to be more direct and really hitting those lines with the three in defenders or the halfbacks. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's obviously paying, paying off. And I think with the Warriors, like everyone's, the question on everyone's mind is when are they going to kick? Mm. Um, you know, had an outstanding season last year, but Hopefully things are starting to turn now. Yeah, well, Andrew Webster said it was all kicking uh, last week, so they look forward to rolling on with that one. But let's roll into the storm. A clinical display to yes. many. That's the way we looked at it. But Bellamy was actually scathing at their defensive effort, particularly through their middle. They said they got run down the middle quite a fair bit. He's a really hard taskmaster, but warranted when you're trying to defend the top position on the ladder. Yeah, again, you come up against a Newcastle Knights outfit where I'm sure the Storm would have maybe just, you know, seen where they are sitting on the ladder and maybe dropped their guard just a little bit. But yeah, they, they did concede a fair, fair bit of points against Newcastle, which I think most of those tries, you know, could have been defended. Um, you know, Craig Bellamy, he's a very hard coach and um, he's one of the best for a reason. And he's got certain standards and I'm sure he's, he's held those players um, to account. And it's not going to be an easy task this week yeah. going down to New Zealand. You know, the Warriors did take it to him when they played against each other at Amy Park last time around, and uh, I think he knows that. All right, well, fun fact before you get to choose. The Warriors haven't beaten the Storm in their past 15 matches. July 12, 2015 was the last time that they won, and it was also at home. So can they do it again almost 10 years on? Renee, all Hooters have to run out sooner or later, <laughs> and I think it's this week. Up the Waz, I'm tipping the Waz at home. It should be a big game. All right, perfect. Thanks so much, Josh. <laughs> Remember, this game is an absolute sellout at Go Media Stadium, so stay tuned to NRL.com for all the news and views. If you're not heading to this one, you can watch it on Foxtel, Sky New Zealand, or KO. Kickoff is at 5:30 p.m. Yeah.